Greetings. So, let's proceed to make a cube container that can put gem slots into items. Beginning by making a brand new one from scratch. We're going to call it a gem slot editor of type station and it will have five rows. From that, let's just real quick edit the title to something nicer like uh, gem slot forge. Yeah, gem slot forge. Well, the next thing is just to make it look um, nice. So I just get some edge material and a generic glass pane. White. And time to edit the contents. So, um, config contents. And let's just make it look cool and exotic. Uh, place for the materials. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, I have these pre-made items, they are like vanilla items with name and lore, like nothing special. See, and now I'm just going to make the, the point of editing these slots is so that it, it marks them as for storage. So now items, uh, items will be able to be stored in there. Yeah, I guess I'll show that later. But let's see how it looks. Um, open it. Yeah, so this is how it's gonna look. And players can put items in these slots. Um, yeah, you know how that works. Anyway, so now let's let's find the mythic skill. That's gonna be uh, slot twenty four. It's gonna run a um, goop mythic mobs runs glass. Um, let me check the exact spelling real quick. Gym slot underscore adder, yes. And it's gonna force it to player. And then simply add some aliases. All right, so let's check. It's gonna be a uh, fourteen. 23 and 32 and yeah plus 2 so 14, 23, 32 that's gonna be um, config aliases game slots 14, 16, 23, 25, 30, 33, 34 yes so I'm going to remove that one because I don't want it to be part of it. So now let's just open it to see. Yeah, this one is going to be 2119. Those are going to be um, secret cell, which stands for color crystal, and a weapon, respectively. It's going to be 19. That's how they're defined in the mythic scale. And these, um, 0 to 3, 12, 13. 36, 39, it's gonna be something else. Um, 63, hold on, 20, 12, what's the name? 12, yeah, 12. So, 12, uh, 30. 36, 39, alright. 36, 39. That's gonna be called a flash. So it should actually be working already, since the mythic mob was already the skill was already loaded. And so by clicking it, it should flash red. Nice. It'd be like no, you can't. You, you basically you can't activate it. So let me grab some items and like. Let's see the crafting materials. I'm just gonna get some stacks of this though. I think we're gonna need only one fourth of these. Yeah. Bow. And I'm gonna need a gem color slot. Color core. Color core. Which is defined as its own MMO item type. But for now, I'll just. But I'm gonna show something real quick. Basically, the masks. Uh, 
I'm supposed to only put weapons in here, but I can put steel. Um, you can fix that very easily by applying a mask. So, let's see. Group config. It's going to be 19 and 21, the, one, the, the ones that I currently want masked. So it's 19. I want type of weapons. And 21. Of type gem forge crystal. Then again, these are defined in on apply masks. Dot yml in the config. And, it, and now that they've been applied, you will notice that I cannot put anything in here that's not a weapon, and here that's not a crystal. You can still put anything in here. You will restrict it if you want, but for now, I, I, it really doesn't matter. So let me get some actual gem core color crystals that I'm using here. Basically to choose the color of the slot. That's eh, it's an example, so it should be thorough, I guess. So you can actually put them there as you can see very easily. And it needs to, it says it requires four metal this is just an item with lore. You would define that in the mythic skill, and then this just that's just for players to know. So you put the stuff here and bam, it works. It, it it even flashes in green, look, doesn't matter which color you are, red, yellow, yeah, yellow, yellow. The thing is, it is restricted to only apply up to three, and you can see this in the message here, it, flashes, it also flashes yellow. So, red means it doesn't have ingredients, yellow means it's at capacity, like you cannot apply more than three slots to an item. Like, I guess for balancing purposes, we don't want to apply an infinite amount. Now, if you had a shield, it just straight up doesn't fit. It's not a weapon. Uh, so, here's some uncolored gem slot. And you see, it doesn't matter uh, which order these are. For example, I could put steel split into two stacks. And it's going to detect it all the same. Let's see how it's supposed to. There. So, um, when you only have one crystal left, you see how uh, it consumes, it should replace that nether star, right? Like this nether star. So, when you only have one, and it consumes, it's basically being set to air. And when you do that, it will automatically turn into the original nether star. And there you have it, that's how you set up a gem slot forge. Now, the rest of the video is just going to be full of examples. Also, I want to show off my beautiful purple color for gym slots. So, let me pick a random weapon. Yes, look at it. It is such an intense purple. I mean, huh. here, <laughs> purple gym slot. You also cannot add anything else. Well, all that. You can put shields or bows in here. You just can't because they are not gem slot colors. You can put them here, but that doesn't that's not gonna do anything because they're not gonna be they're not relevant to the operation. You can put flails in there, which is a web category. I mean it's still a weapon. You can put anything in here, even on top of the blue glass plane. It it will detect and consume everything that's necessary and nothing more. Be it materials, swords, shields. Um, let me put a white one here, and you can put a blue one here, and it will detect the white one and use that one instead. And that's how you set up a gem slot forge. Group MMO items for y'all. Take care.